I wanted a quick look at the Quizlet app. Uh, when I asked the pupils last year what they used to help them study, a huge number of them mentioned this app. I suspect that many of you have already come across it. It's uh, being used uh, by teachers in the school as well. I wanted just a quick look first at the iPad app here, uh, and then I'll post another video where we have a look at the web page. Just very quickly, the basic idea of Quizlet is to create uh, simple flashcards where you have a term on one side of the card and when you tap the card uh, you see the definition on the other side. Uh, you can have any number of cards that you like basically and you just create the definition and, and match it to the term. So it's a useful way for the pupils to build up vocabulary and just check they know what it's talking about. It has a couple of other nice features. It has the little speaker. Hard disk. Hard disk. Where it will read a backing storage device that stores digital data magnetically. Uh, it will read what's on the card. And again, a lot of the pupils quite like that, uh, the fact that they can listen to it as well as read. Uh, in this case, you can see down the left hand side, I've got the terms, and in the right hand side, I've got the definitions. And in this case, I've also included a picture. Uh, it's not always appropriate, but in this case, it's, it's quite a useful uh, thing to be able to do. Uh, once you've got the, the things in there, you can obviously just treat them as flashcards, but you can also use it uh, to learn the various terms. Uh, so this, for instance, is a graphics tablet, and it tells me straight away that's correct. But if I guess wrong and say that's a scanner, it tells me not only uh, what the correct answer is, but it also shows me uh, what a scanner, the definition of scanner is, so you get a bit of remediation to help you uh, work out what's going on. Um, as well as learning it like that, you can also test yourself by practicing the spelling and the typing, for example. Uh, if we type speaker here, um, it will uh, tell me uh, where I got it wrong. It's speakers, plural, a <laughs> bit pedantic, but there we are. Uh, so I'll try that again, speakers. So obviously um, it gets them used to the terminology of your subject uh, and the vocabulary of, of your subject. What we can also do, as well as um, the writing, we can do a matching exercise where we match up the term to the definition. And again, you can turn this into a wee sort of game. I've used it in the class where I've challenged them to uh, match everything up as quickly as they possibly can and then uh, see who was the best in the class. You get a score at the end, seeing how long it took you to finish. Uh, and the last one that's provided in the iPad app uh, is uh, combines uh, a mixture of things, written answers, multiple choice, true, false, uh, and there's a few other bits and pieces there that you can play with. So the app uh, is relatively limited, but still extraordinarily useful. And as I say, I know a number of the pupils are already using it, and I know that some of you are as well. Uh, the web side of uh, Quizlet gives you a few more things that you can do. Uh, and we'll have a look at that in another video. But just before we leave the app, uh, I wanted to show you one of the new features, uh, which is diagrams. You can add diagrams to your Quizlet, uh, and then you can tag certain parts within the diagram. In this case, I've tagged the two people in this particular picture. Uh, and just for comic effect, I put this sort of round splodge uh, on the middle of their noses. Uh, but what that then allows you to do is to interact with that picture, with that diagram in a variety of ways. So here, for instance, I'm matching the name to the person. Uh, and so you can obviously do that for labelling diagrams or whatever, as is appropriate uh, for your subjects. Uh, so that's all for the app just now. Uh, we'll have a look at the web side of it in a minute.